Bad card doesn't mean losing. When I was a child, I was seen as a child that is smart. I have IQ of 130, which I consider really quite high. I can easily follow the schools without even trying. I get rank 2 in class and I can do math really easily. That perceptions made me believe that I'm bound to be successful with what I have. It seems like I have a royal flash card in my hand. Then there was a time when I faced failure. I felt a task to get to NTU, Nanyang Technological University. It felt like the sky is falling and I felt like a failure. My mind shifted from previously, I'm say that I am bound to be successful, becoming I believe that I'm bound to be unsuccessful because I'm maybe just smart enough to beat people in high school. Eventually, the card of on my hand is not real flush, but just a random card that doesn't have any meaning and maybe I cannot win with using that card. Would you give up if you were in my position? Your answer defines what your mindset looks like. You can either have a growth mindset or the opposite which I call chicken mindset or a fixed mindset. So this is a summary of book called Mindset by Carol Dweck. There are three main ideas of this book. The first one is skills can be cultivated through effort. The second is people with growth mindset can thrive on challenges. And the third one is the difference between growth mindset and fixed mindset. Skills can be cultivated through effort. It is right. And the view you adopt on yourself can profoundly change the way you live the life. My false belief said that IQ is the most important things that differentiate between successful and unsuccessful people. While it is certainly plays certain roles, but it's not the number one roles that make you successful. What is surprising for me is that intelligence actually can grow by how you live your life. There are so many things that can improve your brain and improve your intelligence. Maybe the first one is you can grow literally your hippocampus. It is a part on your brain that um, deal of the special capability. So by going to more places, navigating through more places and remembering it instead of using your Google Maps, you can actually make your hippocampus grow bigger. You can also strengthen the connection between two neurons which called myelin by using information over and over. By doing that, you improve the connections, you make them strengthen, and you can broaden your bandwidth of storing and transferring information, making you think faster. Brain rewiring is the third method to grow your brain. It is how you can give some cue on information that is related one to another. It works like a serial lamp. When one lamp is turning on, the other lamp can turn on as well as a cue. The second idea of this book is people that have growth mindset thrive on challenges. They are not only seeking for challenges, they also thrive and win on the challenges. Believing that your qualities are carved in stone or the fixed mindset itself will make you want to prove yourself over and over again. I think it is a wrong ideas that people usually have. I realized that back then I don't really like to challenges. I like to win and I like to dominate over other people. It make me able to prove myself that I am better than the others. It is false belief because when I failed, it led to self questioning myself whether I failed. Actually, over the times I lost and win so many times. I competed in some games and I joined some discussions with a lot of new people. By that, I have those two main beliefs. The first one is losing doesn't mean that you're the worst and winning doesn't mean that you are the best. There are always more than that. When you won, maybe there is another people that are just better than you in many different areas that doesn't just compete on the same games with you. 
and when you lose maybe you will learn a lot of things and you can make a better things on the next round my conclusion is result cannot identify a person but the process can the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset fixed mindset will say that i cannot do it while the growth mindset will say i cannot do it yet those with growth mindset found success in doing their best in learning and improving and this is exactly where we find the champions itself let me quote a word from this book literally college student after doing poorly on tests were given a chance to look at tests of other students those in growth mindset look at the tests of people who had done better far than they had as usual they want to correct their deficiencies but students in the fixed mindset choose to look at the tests of people who had done it really poorly that was their way of feeling better about themselves so let's get back to my failure if i cannot pass the ntu entrance test fine i will just say fine i can bring it another test or maybe one more times what's the worst can happen right maybe i will spend another penny and spend other times to prepare for it but it's not the end of story if i fail there's another chance for me and there is another way also for me to go with my life i can just apply for another university which i did and i got a golden ticket in the end people with growth mindset found success in doing their best in learning and keep improving and by living in the face of difficulties that is my summary of mindset by carol dweck it is a great book to learn about how your mind works if you have a growth mindset good for you and i hope you can keep learning if you're not there yet it's fine it's just not the end of stories you can change that it's just on your mind your brain itself can do so many wonderful things but it can also do scary things it can start imagining things that maybe never happen but if you keep imagining it you will pull yourself toward making it a reality and the reality itself can be scary and can strengthen your belief if it's a bad reality you can also grow a bad belief by yourself so don't focus on the result only just keep doing your best keep thinking about the process itself and of course if you like this video please give a like and share it to your friends and okay see you again on the next video bye